Let's look at praying for others. Go to Genesis 20. It's almost 20 minutes to 4. I don't recall when I began. Anyone knows? Well, that's fine. That's okay. Genesis 20. In that story, Abimelech has taken Abraham's wife. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur and sojourned in Gerah. And Abraham said of Sarah's wife, she is my sister. And Abimelech king of Gerah sent and took Sarah. Verses 1 and 2. He went and took Abraham's wife. Why? Abraham lied and said, she's my sister. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said, Behold, thou art but a dead man for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. <laughs> How would you like God to come to you in a dream and say you're dead? You dead duck. You know why? You, you did this, you did that. You didn't return the tithe. You are dead. God came to Abimelech in a dream and said, Behold, thou art but a dead man for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. Now Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, will thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, she is my sister. And she, even she herself said, he is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands have I done this. Read verse 6 for me. What does that say? And God said unto him in a dream, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart. Keep reading. For I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffer I thee not to touch her now. Nice and clear. Read verse 7. What does that say? Now therefore, come on. Restore the man his wife, not carefully, for he's a prophet, uh huh, and he shall pray for thee. Keep reading. And I'm, ah, stop. Who committed the sin? Abraham. Who committed the deliberate sin? Abraham. Who committed the unconscious sin? Abimelech. Abimelech acted on what Abraham said. By the way, let not our words mislead people. Abraham spoke a biological truth but a relational lie he said she's my sister and she was his half sister but more than that she was his wife so biologically he spoke the truth relationally he lied but he was still god's child one lie doesn't make you the child of the devil i am not saying one lie is fine i'm simply saying you don't become a child of god or a child of the devil because you make a mistake so I'm a child of God Monday Wednesday Thursday Friday I sleep on Tuesday and I'm a child of the devil it doesn't work like that so Abraham lied he was absolutely wrong but he was God's child Abimelech was a heathen unbeliever when he took the wife of God's son God came to him he was a king I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you in the dream, Abimelech, why? You took somebody's wife, the wife of my son. And Abimelech said, I didn't know. And God understood he didn't know. God said, I know you did this in the integrity of your heart. But now that I've told you, are you with me? Return to man's wife. I know you didn't know seven days of Sabbath, but now that you know, start keeping it. I know you didn't know the tithe should be paid on the gross. Now that you know, stop paying it on the net and pay it on the gross. I know you didn't know, says God, but now that you know, change your behavior. But we're talking about prayer. And therefore now restore the man his wife, and he shall pray for thee, because he's a prophet. And thou shalt live. Question for you. Are prayers of Christians important in this world? Yes. Mm-hmm. Your prayers can save your city. Is there a drought in California? If Christians in California would pray, I mean pray, they would be shocked to see how much rain would come. Let me talk about my people, Seventh-day Adventist Christians. We complain about this and that and this and that in the country. There's a drought, there are locusts, there are this, there are that. And they don't understand wherever God's people are, blessing should come because God's people are there and they know God if they would confess their sins turn to God completely according to the second Chronicles 7 verse 14 if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways then will I hear from heaven I will forgive their sin and do what and will heal their land 
I'm saying it again for anyone in California listening to me. If God's people will come together and pray and confess their sins, you would be shocked what God will do for that area where his people live. Because prayer is powerful and God loves to receive the prayers of his people. And so God told Abimelech, listen, therefore restore the man his wife for he's a prophet and he shall pray for thee and thou shalt live. But if thou restore her not, know thou, thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. Now go to the second last verse. We're reading the last two verses of Genesis 20. Last two verses, I think verses 19 and 20. What does 19 say? Come on. 17, 18. What does 17 say? So Abraham prayed unto God, and God did what? Healed Abimelech and his house and? And they bear children. Abraham prayed to God. And God healed Abimelech. Now, had Abimelech become converted to the Jewish faith? No. But Abraham was praying. The prayer of a child of God will bless even the unbeliever. Abraham prayed to God. And God healed Abimelech and his house and his maidservants. And they bear children. Read the last verse. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech. Why? Because of Abraham, Sarai, Abraham's wife. Now, God did two things. First, he punished them for touching Abraham. Then when Abraham prayed, God healed the nation. When Abraham prayed, God healed. The women couldn't get pregnant. The men couldn't do what they were supposed to do. Until Abraham prayed. There is a tremendous responsibility we have as children of God to pray for our society. Pray for our leaders. Why? God will hear those prayers. And so Abraham prayed. And God answered, Heal Abimelech, his house, his servants, restored and reversed the curse he placed upon them because they had laid their hands upon Abraham. Prayer, my brothers and my sisters, is a very powerful thing.